Hi friends, welcome to VKCK Ideas. In this video, we will be learning polynomials from the class 9th. It is also useful for the class 10th as we are discussing only the basics of polynomials in this video. Polynomials is a chapter from algebra. As we know, algebra speaks about unknown quantities. That is, in our daily life or in science, if we want to represent something that we do not know, we take the help of algebra. To represent these unknown quantities, we do use the letters like X, Y, Z, M and so on, which is termed as variables. The other word for this variables is literal. Using these variables, we express some of the ideas like x square plus 2 or m plus 3 or it may be y minus 2. It can also be y square plus 2y minus 5 x to the power of minus 1 plus 8. In all these cases, we are expressing some mathematical ideas using these literals or variables which are known as algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is an expression built up from integer, constants, variables and the algebraic operations. Now just observe there is a variable, we have an integer, these integers are connected by some algebraic operations. Therefore, these are considered to be algebraic expressions. These are nothing but expressing something algebraically. Just observe what I write. First one is x square plus 2. Whereas here, I'll be writing x to the power of minus 2 plus 3. One more thing, let me take 2y cube minus 2y plus Eight. Here, let me take x to the power minus 1 plus 2. It can be 1 by x plus x. Here it can be 2x to the power 4 plus 3x square minus 5. Now just I have made two groups. You should observe here. All the indices I have used here are positive integers whereas observe this side here it is minus 2 minus 1 this can also be written as x to the power of minus 1 plus x and hence the indices is minus 1 so here there are negative integers everything put together they come under algebraic expressions but why did I write it separately? That is to show that the first group belongs to polynomials. One thing you should be very clear that in any polynomial, you can have only positive integers as the indices of any unknown term. In order to understand the general form of a polynomial, we should take an example here is an example 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6x plus half. Now there are four terms in this. Each one is a term. 2x cubed put together will become a term. Similarly 5x squared is a term. Minus 6x is a term and half is a term. Now every term has two parts. One is coefficients. Another one is variable. So if I have to write the general form, let me consider variable x and coefficients b a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2, a n minus 3, so on till, till a 1 and a naught. Now the general formula can be written as a n 
x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 so on up to a 1 x plus a naught. We have already told a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 a 1 a naught or coefficients and x to the power of n, x to the power of n minus 1, x to the power of n minus 2 and so on represents the variables. Now if I want to denote this in terms of x, I do simply write it as f of x. Not only with f of x, it can also be denoted by g of x, p of y, f of m and so on. The term inside the bracket tells us about the variable used in the polynomial. We should keep in mind that here n used is positive integer which is the highest one and hence it is also degree of the polynomial. We shall understand degree of the polynomial with little more examples. Let me consider a polynomial f of x is equal to x to the power of 5 plus 2x to the power of 4 minus 3x square plus 8. Here the highest degree used is 5 and hence its degree will be 5. Similarly, we will take one more example g of x is equal to 3x to the power of 7 plus 8. Though it has only two terms in it, the exponent of the variable x is 7 which is the highest and hence the degree would be 7. We will take one more example that is p of m is equal to 3m to the power of 5 plus 6m minus 8m to the power of 6 minus 3. Now simply looking at it we cannot judge the degree as it is not arranged in the general form. We have to first arrange it according to its indices. 6 is the highest indices therefore minus 8m to the power of 6 plus 3m to the power of 5 plus 6m minus 3. Now we can simply say the degree of this polynomial is 6. What is the degree of the polynomial? The exponent of the highest degree term in the polynomial is known as its degree. We have to just look into the exponent and the highest degree in it to judge the degree of the polynomial. Types of the polynomials. Polynomials can be divided into different types based on two different concepts. One is number of terms in it. Another one is the degree of the polynomials. First we shall take up number of terms. Let me start with the example if f of x is equal to x or g of x is equal to 5x to the power of 6. The number of terms in these two polynomial is only 1. Therefore it is monomial which is the first type. We will take up some more examples like this. If f of x is equal to x square minus 5, g of m is equal to 2m cube minus 9. In these two examples, we have two terms. Whenever a polynomial has two terms, it is called binomial. If you take up an example or a polynomial with three terms, for example, x square plus x minus 5, this polynomial has three terms and hence it is called trinomial. So, we will sum up. Based on number of terms, we can divide the polynomials into three categories, monomial, binomial and trinomial. Monomial has only one term, binomial has two terms and trinomial has three terms. Now, we will go further where the classification is done based on the degree of the polynomial. We will take an example of the polynomial with the degree 0 that is if you have f of x is equal to 5. 
there is no variable term so we can consider it as x to the power of 0 therefore it is called as constant polynomial as there is only one term which is constant. We will take an example with the degree 1 that is f of x is equal to 5x. The degree of this polynomial is 1 as the exponent is 1 and hence it is called as linear polynomial. Now we will take up degree 2 that is f of x is equal to 5x to the power of 2 plus 2. Here the exponent is 2 and hence the degree is also 2. Therefore, it is called as quadratic polynomial. Next, we will move on to degree 3 with an example that is f of x is equal to 5x to the power of 3 plus 2x. The highest exponent is 3. And hence, the degree of the polynomial is also 3. Therefore, the polynomial is called cubic polynomial. Now, you can only tell me the example for the degree 4. That is, f, f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 plus x cube plus x and so on. Where the highest degree is 4. And therefore, this polynomial is called as biquadratic polynomial. If you sum up, we have constant polynomial where we have only constant. We have linear polynomial where the degree is 1 and the quadratic polynomial where the degree is 2. Cubic polynomial where the degree is 3 and the biquadratic polynomial where the degree is 4. If you have understood this, we will move on to solving the exercise problems. The first main says like this, which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable and which are not state reason. Here in this question, we have to say which of the following expressions are polynomials. That is, we have to identify the polynomial and that too, we have to consider only one variable and then if it is not a polynomial, we will have to state the reason for it. We will start with our first question 4x square minus 3x plus 7. It has only positive integer in the index. Therefore, it is a polynomial. We will consider the second one y square plus root 2. 2 is a positive integer and hence it is also polynomial. We will go for the third one. It is 3 root t plus t root 2. This can also be written as 3t to the power of half plus t root 2 where you have half which is not an integer so it is not polynomial. Here we will have to write the reason also. The reason will be indices does not have positive integer can be your reason. You can also write as half is a rational number, not an integer. Moving on to the next one, y plus 2 by y, it can also be written as y plus 2 y to the power of minus 1. Again, you have minus 1 in the indices. Therefore, it is a not polynomial. You can write the reason as indices does not have positive integer. Moving on to the last one, we have x to the power of 10, we have y to the power of 3, we have t to the power of 50. Though it is a polynomial, it is not the polynomial with one variable. It is a polynomial but not with one variable. Then how many variable it has? It has three variables. Moving on to the second main, write the coefficient of x square in each of the following. Let me make it clear, they have asked you to find out the coefficient of x square. So just observe, it is 2 plus x square plus x. We have x square here. There is only one x square. So it is understood we, the coefficient to be 1. Therefore, coefficient of x square is 1. Second one is, 
2 minus x square plus x cube. We have minus x square. Whenever there is nothing, we'll write 1 as its coefficient. If, you, if I ask you to give pen, you will give me 1 pen. Therefore, whenever there is nothing, we'll just write 1 as a coefficient. Therefore, coefficient of x square is minus 1. Third one, pi by 2 x square. We have pi by 2 as coefficient of x square. We'll write it. Fourth one, root 2 x minus 1. We do not have a x square term. For your clarity, we can write it as plus 0 x square. And hence, the coefficient can be 0. The coefficient of x square is 0. Next, we will move on to third and a very beautiful main. Give one example of binomial of degree 35. You can choose any binomial. Binomial will have two terms. And the degree should be 35. So let me write it as f of x is equal to 5x to the power of 35 minus 8. You can write any polynomial like this. Second one is monomial of degree 100. The degree should be 100. That is the power should be 100. But it should be a monomial. So let me write g of x is equal to x to the power of 100. Next, we will take up the fourth main. Write the degree of each of the following polynomials. We will read it 5x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x. The highest power is 3. Therefore, the degree is also 3. In this case, the highest power is 2. Therefore, degree is 2. Here, the highest power is 1. Therefore, the degree is 1. Here, we do not have any variable, we can assume it to be x to the power of 0. Therefore, the degree is 0, which is a constant polynomial. Again, if you want to relate this to type of polynomial, degree 0, we can write it as constant polynomial. Degree 1, it is a linear polynomial. Degree 2, it is a quadratic polynomial. Degree 3, it is a cubic polynomial. Friends, we shall move on to the fifth main. Here it says classify the following as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomial. So what we should do? We should first write the degree of this polynomial. Then we can write the type easily. First sum is x square plus x. The degree is 2. Hence it is quadratic polynomial. Here the highest degree is 3. Therefore it is cubic polynomial. Here the highest degree is 2. Therefore, it is quadratic polynomial. And the highest degree here is 1. And hence, it is a linear polynomial. Here also the highest degree, that is 3t. Therefore, the highest degree is 1. Therefore, it is also linear polynomial. Now, it is simply r square. The highest degree is 2. Two, therefore, it is a quadratic polynomial. Observe the last one. It is 7x cubed. The highest degree is 3. Therefore, the degree of polynomial is also 3. Therefore, the type should be cubic polynomial. Hope you enjoyed solving these means in your polynomial chapter. We'll meet in the next video with little more sums and little more concepts. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe VKCK. Thank you so much for watching.